So asking us the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle measures 40 degrees. What is the measure of a base triangle? So we have, so I like this, I like this, um, like looking at this first half of our solution, I liked it, I like what they're doing already because they have some type of diagram. And with geometry problems, and again, you see this problem probably in a geometry class or you would see this in um, a grade nine, uh, maybe introduction to trigonometry kind of unit, um, kind of problem, type of problem. So this here is a great uh, approach to looking at this problem. So we want to draw, we actually want to draw uh, a diagram to help us figure this out. So what we can do here is, I'm gonna actually copy their, um, their diagram here because it's the correct diagram. So what we have is the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle. So the vertex here angle would be this angle A because our isosceles triangle means that two sides are the same, right? So remember, so note that in an isosceles triangle, oh, that's not how you spell triangle. We have two sides are the same. Two side lengths are the same. So we denote th these these guys with a small dash, right? So this here means that these two sides are the same. And the vertex angle of these isosceles triangles or where these isosceles tri uh, sides meet in the vertex of the angle would be here, right? Because it meets at this angle here. So this angle would be 40 degrees. And this is exactly the same diagram we have here. So this is correct. So we have an isosceles triangle where two side lengths are the same. And it's asking us, what is the measure of a base angle? So we want to figure out, when this is in blue, what is e these angles here? And we, we usually denote this in theta or some type of um, Greek letter to figure out what the angle is of um, the base uh, the, or what is the measure of the base angle here. So this problem really breaks down into our understanding or the final mental, mental understanding of our triangles. Of our isosceles triangle, our equilateral triangle, um, you can have something like a, um, acute um, angles and obtuse angles as well and triangles as well. And what we have to know um, to solve this problem, what it, the giveaway here is this triangle being in an isosceles triangle. If we know that two side lengths are the same, we know that their angles must also be the same um, due to the uh, theorem where you have um, you have side side um, side side angle or side side side. Um, and those theorems in geometry let us help us prove that whether something is uh, congruent or similar or whatnot. So in this case here, an isosceles triangle, if two, so I can say if two side lengths are the same, are the same, then their angles must also be the same. So that means we know that this angle, angle B here and angle C are going to be equal to each other. So we're solving for the same angle here and they're not, they're going to be the same, you know, uh, our value here. And if we know this piece of information, then the problem is very, very easy, right? We know that in a triangle, we know with the sum of the interior triangles in a triangle, um, sorry, the sum of the interior triangles of a triangle um, is going to be 180 degrees, right? So we can say that sum of interior angles in triangle equals 180 degrees, right? So therefore, we can say, well, we can say that 180 degrees is going to equal our vertex angle, which is 40, 40 degrees plus, plus this angle here and this angle here, right? And we know these guys are the same. So we can say angle theta plus theta plus theta. And we know that thetas are the same, right? So we can collect like terms. You can also visualize this as any type of variable you want. You can visualize this as X or whatnot. So you can say 180 degrees would equal 40 degrees plus two theta. Because again, you can collect these like terms, right? And what we can easily do now, we can easily solve 
for this data here um, using algebra, right? So you can uh, move 40 degrees to the other side and isolate theta here. So I can subtract 40 from both sides here. So I would get 180 minus 40, which is going to be 140 degrees. It's going to equal two theta. And then finally, I can divide both sides by two, right? So theta here is going to equal 140 degrees divided by two, which will equal 70 degrees. So therefore, we can say that this angle here is going to be 70 degrees. And this angle here is also equal 70 degrees. And you can make sure that they add up to 180 degrees, right? 70 degrees plus 70 degrees is 140, plus 40 degrees here is 180. So this here is our solution for this problem. So you can say, therefore, base angle equals 70 degrees. And this here is our solution for this problem. So let's check the solution. So it says, since ABC is an isosceles triangle in which side AB is equal to AC, this implies that angle B equals angle Z. So this is the correct, um, this is the correct, they use the correct theorem here. And again, you simply just have to um, isolate for that theta. And I chose using theta, they chose using angle B, which is totally fine. And this here is going to equal 70 degrees. So this solution here is correct.